Hello and welcome to the Traveling Aquarian. And this is Closet Clean Out Part 3 and Done. Hello, hello, hello and happy Monday. It is beautiful outside. It is like 80 degrees. The sun is out. I have no complaints. I will not be long because I want to get back outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. My closet is done, 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 done. <laughs> you know, I gotta dance to everything. But the office, my closet is clean. I just need to put some things on these walls because they are bare and boring. Um, my couch is clean. I can lay on it and sleep now if I want to. If it's late in here, and I'm you know doing some reading or some YouTube. And, I have an addiction. I am um, addicted to some YouTubers. Uh, I watch their their channel like every day, and I get mad when they don't have something. But let's get back to the closet. Um, my closet is clean. My office is open. Um, it feels so refreshing. I feel good. The energy feels great in here. And uh, I saw um, I saw something on YouTube where it said declutter your life in your closet in four to six hours. Yeah, maybe that you could do that depending on the size of your closet. But I had things in here more than four to six hours of decluttering. I threw away eight bags of clothes. I'm sorry, I didn't throw away. I donated eight bags of clothes. I threw away three bags of clothes that was just old. I don't even know why I was holding on to them, but I got rid of them. Um, I made my daughter go through her closet and throw away some things as well and clean her dresser out. And I just wanted to teach her as well about just being organized and just getting ourselves together. Because when our rooms are in chaos, our life could get that way as well. But um, I do feel good. I do have everything organized. I went to Dollar Tree. And in the future, I'll get some other storage bins. But for right now, I told you my last video, I'm on a budget. And Dollar Tree had what I needed to just put things um, organized. I'll show you guys in a moment. And um, I did buy this plastic shoe organizer that I do not like. So I'm gonna replace that in the future with a shelf um, to put on the floor for my shoes. I also didn't mix different seasons of clothes in my closet. I have what I'm wearing now for the summer. I also only have the shoes that I'm gonna be currently wearing right now. I made room for myself to go into my attic, so my clothes are stored there. Um, I have everything stored nice in bins now, organized and cleaned out my closet. In the future, I'm gonna put this in the universe and I'm gonna write it in the future. I'm gonna write it after this as well, but I'm putting it into the universe that one day I'll be able to get my attic um, uh, renovated so it could be a walk-in closet. That's, that's what I'm gonna put into the universe. And I know it's gonna happen one day because I will will it and it will happen and I said it. And the universe do hear my prayers and my, you know, they do answer my prayers for me. But I feel so good and it was very overwhelming. I felt like giving up at one time and I was just like, I'm not even gonna do this. I didn't want to come into my office, but I finally got everything together. I organized it, I felt good, I brought a hanger um, where you can put like five pairs of pants on it. I'll have everything listed in the description again for you. But I really feel so much lighter. My office feels much airier. The vibration and the, the energy feels good as well. And I just want you guys to know that, you know, we have to start with small steps. I need to do a lot more in my house, but I started with my main, um, the main, uh, main room of my house where I spend most of my day and this is where I work at as well so if I'm not organized and this chaos in here how can I be productive with my job you know so I feel really good that I did this I'll list some tips for you as well but don't stress about it don't get overwhelmed have a friend help you or if you can't um, afford it you could also have someone come in to organize your closet for you you don't always have to do everything yourself if you can't afford it have someone help you if you have any friends or family that you need help that, um, that can help you ask them as well make it a party uh, like I said get some wine and some you know appetizers or lunch or dinner don't try to do everything in one day come back the next day but do get it done because you will feel so much better thank you for watching my channel like subscribe I also will be focusing on 
uh, my travel because that's what the Travel and Aquarium is. I love visiting local places and I love supporting small businesses and all businesses, not even just small. And why is it a small business? It's a business. Why do they call it a small business? Because it's not a big corporation. It's a business. It's a business. <laughs> But I am here to support you and I can't wait to visit you and stick around for my channel again um, it's lifestyle you know well-being our uh, health is wealth and um, the traveling Aquarian so stick around this is the authentic me no makeup no well I do got makeup but not overly exaggerated makeup I, I, I'm learning that you know that's in the future but this is my authentic self I'm a mess but I am trying to get myself organized and I want you to as well because if I could do it anyone could do it have a great day get outside even if you're going to walk around the corner it's beautiful out if the Sun is out right now please get outside even if stand on your porch if you don't want to go for a walk if you can't go for a walk just stand outside open your door let the fresh air in open your windows up as well let in the fresh air and enjoy your day Bye. I'm all done I brought a shoe organizer which I really don't like so I'm going to get a shelf in the future to put my shoes on but I do have everything organized now I did buy a pants organizer and I said I wasn't going to paint I had to paint that wall was disgusting and I really don't have time to put wallpaper on that's very tedious and I don't have tedious time I am busy I also have costume jewelry so I brought an organizer for that so it's so cool now that I just could look at what I have and pick something to put on um, I need some necklaces these is all costume jewelry and earrings and um, I could use in, in uh, my earrings and it's all earrings actually and I have some belts down here I need some necklaces I'm gonna get another pants organizer so I can do my jeans the same way I hung up on my skirts I hung up my dresses I only have things I'm currently wearing here I made a space so it's easily for me to go into my attic now I'm gonna keep that um, side empty so I could go in and just get the things I need Again, you shouldn't have winter things mixed in with your summer things. Yeah, it is a sweater here, but this is a nautical sweater that I could wear when it's breezy in the summertime. You know how you go to the shore and in the evening is, it gets cold. That's why my sweater is there. But organize everything. I also went to the dollar, dollar store, Dollar Tree, and I brought some bins. I have some work shirts in there, my graphic tees my workout gear and my bathing suits once summer is over i want to take those bathing suits out and put it back into um the attic i also bought a little small bin for my belts to go into as well i have a step stool yeah it is high i'm short i'm five three so i do have a step stool to get in and out of my closet i do have a light to put in here but I really don't need it. It's my closet. It's not that dark. Maybe one day when I have a walk-in closet, I'll need all of that. But right now, very simple. Everything is organized, hung up. It's space in here. I could get to my attic to get the clothes that I need that I'm not wearing. Shoes are organized. Only have my shoes that I'm wearing right now. Nothing from the winter time should be in here. It goes all the way back. I didn't like that shoe rack that I brought. So I'm going to get a shelf down here instead other than that i am so happy this is done i'm organized it's clean i can see everything and i feel better um and g for joining me on my closet clean out journey but before i wrap up here are some tips to help you organize your closet start small begin with one section at a time so you don't feel overwhelmed Tackle your clothes, then your shoes, accessories, and miscellaneous items. Categorize and declutter. I want you to sort your items into categories. Things you're going to keep, donate, sell, or trash. So this would make the process more manageable. If you own a budget, you could use some affordable storage solutions from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, or other saving department stores. Or 
if you can, you could help someone and hire, you could hire a professional to come in and help you as well, or have friends and family join in to help you too. You could also repurpose some of the things you have, like some shoe boxes. You could add, have them be used as little storage bins temporarily. Invest in quality hangers. I love the hangers I have. They're non-slip. They have clips, so you could clip your pants on or certain shirts or scarves. So that is a great thing to invest in. And again, take your time. Don't feel overwhelmed. I want to thank you again for joining me in my closet cleanup. But there are also some benefits to cleaning out your closet. It adds more space. You feel organized. It reduces stress. And you feel like you have a better purpose. And you could be more productive as well. Because you could find things now. So thanks again for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And if you have some tips, please give them to me as well. Because I'm also still learning. Happy organizing. And thank you for watching my channel, The Traveling Aquarian. Bye.